Spyderco Tenacious Lightweight. I have used this specific knife for an entire year, and I wanna tell you the good and the bad about it. I have kind of a tradition with my wife, and she purchases me a new knife every year on Christmas. I give her a list, and I say, hey, out of these 10 knives, pick one, and I will use that knife for an entire year, every single day as an EDC knife. So in December of 2021, this knife was selected, and I use this knife in my pocket every day for a year, and I want to explain my overall feelings, performance, and everything about this knife to you to see if it's viable and legitimate and worth your money and your time. Now, back in 2017, I did the same thing with this knife, which is the Tenacious Original. And then, of course, this is the Tenacious Lightweight. So with that knife, or with these knives, I have some pretty good information on them. And they work extremely well. And you would think that the lightweight edition, as you can see with the scales and everything, you know, G10, and then this is a lighter cut model, would be a big difference. But is it is the real question in performance. Let's break this out right here. So here's the Tenacious Original right here, coming in four ounces exactly. So what is the lightweight edition? Lightweight meaning it is going to be lighter weight than this and maybe more performance based. That's what I would think. So let's throw it on there. 3.7. Now I do have a small zip tie up here, but realistically, I don't think you know, a certain zip tie weighs that much. So let's just go 3.6. So between the two, you're getting a, what, a 0.4 ounce saving, savings on both of these. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to say the lightweight edition? My opinion, no. It is not that big of a performance upgrade. And I would say the rigidity of this knife is better than this. Now, I have saw original Tenacious's break, mainly my father being a master plumber, and he can find all kinds of ingenious ways to, you know, stuff these blades into drywall or, you know, random pieces of wood to get a task done or something and manage to break them, not a lot, but occasionally. And it just blows my mind that he finds these ways to do these things with this knife, mainly this one. Would I say this one stands up the same way? Yes, even though it is the lightweight edition, I would say it is equally performing. Overall, I do like the scales of this better than the original. The scales are definitely more grippy. They allow you to feel the knife better. Now, same exact access lock. I have, you know, the zip tie here so you can pull it out of your pocket very quick and very easily. Now, both the clip, which I took the clip off of this one because my father lost it, so I had to replace him one, but the same exact clip is what they were using, so not kind of the original, you know, wire clip like most of the lightweights, like the Man X2 lightweight, they did a wire form, which I used actually back in 2014 exclusively, which we'll talk about that another day. But overall performance-wise, I think it's a great knife, but one downside, in my opinion, this knife does not give me the excitement of other knives that I've used in the past. It doesn't excite me in any way. This is a fairly solid performing knife, but very plain. I mean, it is a very plain knife and it doesn't excite me as in like say a paramilitary two. When you pull out a paramilitary military two, in my opinion, this excites me. This, you know, it has a different style of feel to it. When you pull this out, people are like, ooh, what kind of knife is that? You know, they're asking you questions, just like maybe the Benchmade Infidel or something like that. You know, when you pull this out and show somebody, they're like, oh, that's super cool. But what I've noticed is when you pull this out, no one really asks what that knife is. They just, oh, is it a Spyderco? Okay, cool. Because the Tenacious is a solid just blade form. There's nothing wrong with it. It's definitely performing. But ultimately, it doesn't give me excitement when I pull it out of my pocket. Now, it doesn't mean it's not going to be that way for you. It's just I'm explaining my feelings and what I think I've used with it. I do think it's an awesome, awesome, exceptional knife, especially for the price, right around $40 to $50 for this awesome performing knife. The blade is very good. I have not chipped it, damaged it. I have saw 
them be damaged before, like I'll roll in some photos, but ultimately I think it is worth it. If you're interested in getting this knife as a gift for someone, definitely highly recommended because it is on the cheaper scale as in price, but not as in quality. You can engrave it, you do whatever you want, they make different models, that'd be my recommendation. But overall, performance-wise, I think it's a great knife. It just doesn't give me the excitement that another knife does, which I am replacing this knife. My wife purchased me a new knife, which will be in an upcoming video, and that knife definitely excites me. And I'm going to show you that here fairly soon. But if you would like to purchase this knife, maybe as a gift or something like that to somebody, definitely look in the description box below. I do have it there. You know, some sense does go to me through Amazon because I am an Amazon affiliate. But literally, if you purchase this knife, I might make 85 cents off of it. It is not that big of a deal, but it does help this channel quite a bit. And it doesn't cost you anything. So that's kind of a benefit too. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, want to see more, I do this every single year. I will talk about a knife that I used for the entire year. You can go back and look through my other knives and stuff like that. Other than that, look forward to coming up with my new video. Definitely like and subscribe if you do want to see that next knife that's coming up. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day.